Hey guys, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode is dedicated to all the men and women out there that make this episode possible. It's the, uh, the men and women that designed and built old yellow iron and diesel powered equipment and hydraulic uh, fluid transfer systems that make uh, all this work possible. Um, thanks so much to all you out there, uh, the, the forge hammer men, the, the welders, the engineers that designed by the KISS principle. Uh, make these things so they're endlessly rebuildable um, Just uh, thank you so much. So let's uh, let's move some dirt. Welcome to man time
Well, that is a... Uh... Catch my breath here. Whew. Okay, I'm not ready for this 100 degrees yet. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Um, so this is the episode dedicated to the hardworking uh, men and women um, that make you know good manufactured products um, that are durable uh, to the hammermen, the machinists, the lathe operator, um, the steel mills, you know, all that stuff. Um, one thing that might be left out from that equation is the managers and the, and the VPs and the plant managers. But uh, uh, especially in the U.S. here, um, being that guy and having to deal with, uh, with outsourcing and uh, offshoring, um, things like that, it's, uh, it's a pretty stressful job when you've got a board of people staring at you going, we can outsource it. Uh, to you know, China, Taiwan, uh, India, and uh, and get it at a third of the cost, half of the cost. But uh, you know that that guy has to have uh, a lot in him to to stand up and say, hey, I can deliver faster, I can deliver uh, more just in time um, to the manufacturing schedule. Uh, I can implement new equipment and uh, and different things to make my manufacturing processes cheaper. Um, you know, I, I deal with that on a on a smaller scale. But uh, looking at a board of directors, you know, um, there was actually a book I read uh, close to when I was about to graduate college called "The Earth is, Earth is Flat," and it's not like a flat earther type of thing. It's actually um, a really smart book uh, describing how the um, Advancements in technology, uh, communication, and transportation have essentially made it a level playing field um, for business and manufacturing and technology and, and things like that. Um, so you can take that two ways, right? You can take that as, as, as an American um, engineer, uh, order the engineer, the oath of the engineer to uphold and um, take pride in your work, make sure you are doing things ethically and to the best of your ability and, and not cutting corners and things like that, um, means I have to get smarter, better, faster than competition worldwide. Um, another person like somebody on a board might look at that and say, hey, we can get things cheaper, faster, uh, just as good, <laughs> you know, from a another country and, uh, and save ourselves some money and not have to do a whole lot. But uh, the, the people like you and me can't buy equipment like this anymore, right? When that happens, um, now we have to wait for our, apart from our tractor from India that might come broken. And that's happened to me before on that, uh, on that Mahindra tractor. So, and, and that's not an American company that out offshored and outsourced. I'm just saying that's a, that's a possibility now with uh, modern technology and modern manufacturing. So to the people keeping it real, keeping it simple, keeping it running. Thanks. Get out there. Have me some man time.